This whole project came about from isolating all the different strains of Britannomyces that at the time were known. Still, is, there's about five strains that are, that are widely recognized. And we'd isolated all of them and just wanted to do a little more experimentation to really master what this organism was and what it was all about. So to do those experiments, we took a bunch of our standard beers and just inoculated them with, these, with this yeast to do a primary fermentation. Believe it or not, Hop Devil with Britannomyces was our favorite. So these beers have been uh, matured for about the same amount of time and pulled directly from the cellar. Uh, so you can see they are not clarified. This is very green beer. However, they have been matured appropriately and all the flavors that we're looking for will be there. I always love to drink a Hop Devil. Yeah. It smells great. Yeah, right off, right off the bat, getting a lot of pine and caramel. These beers are gonna have the same hop bill. We use all U.S. hops grown in the Pacific Northwest. Definitely a lot of resinous hops, like Zach had mentioned, pininess. A little bit of, uh, of uh, tropical fruit, too. Very well-balanced bitterness. Uh, you know, not, not too off-putting, but certainly detectable. All right, so uh, got a pretty good idea what hop devil tastes like. Let's mm -hmm. make a move on to the wild devil. Sounds good. Wow, it's exceptionally different. Yeah, right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of aroma of, uh, of wet hay, uh, sort of, you know, what, what people in the industry like to call funk. Very interesting, the, the interplay between the hops, especially difference between the hop devil and with the wild devil, the way the hop aroma changes. There's so much more complexity to this one. It's, it's much less hop forward in the aroma. Yeah, and despite the fact that they do have the same exact and same same exact amount and same kind of hops, there really is a different interplay with the bitterness and I'm not picking up as much bitterness as I did in the Wild Devil than I did in the Hop Devil. I totally agree. That's more of a bracing bitterness what you typically find in an IPA. And this has, uh, this has more of a, a complexity, depth, from primarily the fermentation. This has a little bit of a fruity fermenta fermentation flavor, completely different than the Wild Devil. It's, uh, it's very smooth. Uh, smooth, easier to drink, actually. So the barnyardy flavor, it's typical of the Brett fermentations. A little bit horsey, like a horse blanket, um, but definitely not offensive. Got lots of cherry. I don't know if I'd, if I'd say that this is an exceptionally sour beer. There definitely are notes of some acidity, but with Brett, Botanomyces, pretty much all those strains, if they're kept in an anaerobic condition, it is lack of oxygen during the fermentation, they have a tendency to create acetic acid, which is uh, different from a lot of the sour beers that you'll have. Most of the sour beers are, are heavily laden with lactic acid. Acetic acid is a, is a totally different kind of sour beer. There may be a touch of that in this, but I wouldn't, wouldn't say too much. No. Uh, there is, there is a, a hint of tartness, but it's not uh, going to pucker your mouth, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So there's a lot of similarities and a lot of differences between these two beers. Uh, we hope you try it yourselves. Hop Devil and Wild Devil are always a great pairing. Cheers. Cheers.